Welcome to Monday Night Live with me and my guest, Cole's Place. Welcome, Cole. Hi, Michael. How are you? How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah. Guys, if you are just tuning in now, I will give you five minutes for everybody to, to come on. But if you can hit the subscribe button um, and hit the thumbs up, the thumbs up, touch the screen for the three dots at the top for the thumbs up. Much appreciated. We're all in vertical mode, so this is the only way we can go live together. But... We're here with a special guest, and we're going to chat to him in a minute, and we're going to talk about his travels to Tenerife, his travels back home, his life. We're going to answer some viewers' questions. you got any questions for Colin? Uh, we can definitely go through them, and we'll just have a banter and have a good time. So, Colin, thank you for agreeing to come on to do this. Hey, Welcome. Thanks for me, Mike. Hey, good. How are, Pleasure, how are you? you? Yeah, I'm good, good. Uh, in depression mode after 10 nights in Tenerife, <laughs> which I'm sure you know the feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just getting and you're settled back things. home? Yeah, well, I landed back Thursday night, had a night off, then I did a gig Friday, a gig Saturday, and a gig last yesterday. So yeah. I'm literally just, I'm getting, I, I have actually unpacked today. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm settled now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how is your daughter? Does she have a beautiful time in Tenerife? She had a fantastic time. Uh, she was a bit iffy about flying, as you know, you, you probably know. Uh, but once she got up in the air and we landed, she had, she had, a, oh, she had an absolute blast. Loved every second of it. <laughs> she didn't want to come home. Her words were, I don't want to go back to England. Yeah, t t <laughs> ten, 10 days is not long enough. Can we go for two <laughs> weeks next time? Or even three weeks? <laughs> That'll yeah. be your next holiday you plan. But, yeah, um, yeah. yeah you obviously are a, a father. You're a family man. Uh, you work as well, and you do YouTube. Now, yeah. you've done YouTube for a while now. Uh, I believe you started uh, your YouTube channel on the 30th of January 2022, which was just before lockdown finished, I believe. Uh, you done your first vlog. Um, sorry, sorry. You done your first vlog on January the, uh, the 30th, 2022, and you got 841 views from that. And since then, you have built your channel up to what it is now. Uh, 4.27k subscribers and you've done very many many videos uh tenerife and home so yeah. very impressive uh Thank you. we'll start off with the first question uh what motivated you to do your channel what brought it out to you to set it up wow uh well I've got, it's a case of what and who um i went over uh, i was watching all you know the vloggers we all know uh lee uh matt master um, Rick and Shelley, uh, Tim Dowd, you know, all, all the ones everybody knows. Uh, I was a, still am a massive fan of all of them. Um, I went over to Tenerife in December 2021, uh, mm -hmm. which was my birthday at the time. And part of that trip, I went over to um, one of the neighbouring islands, La Palma. Um, the volcano was going off at the time. And the last time it went off was way back in the 70s. Yeah. And it Long story short, uh, the volcano started going off in September 2021. And the day before it went off, I had, I don't, you probably can't see, I had this tattoo here with a volcano on it. And that was mm -hmm. the day I, that completed the day before the volcano started in La Palma. So uh, I said to my daughter, right, I'm going to go. I've always wanted to see a live volcano. So I planned the trip <laughs> meticulously to go and see the volcano. Yeah. Went over there, saw there's a vlog at the beginning of my channel, saw the volcano, massive story with that one, and came back and, and I did film it, but not intending to vlog it. I was just filming it for my own purposes to show my daughter when I got back. And uh, when I was over there, I got chatting to Tim and Rick and, you know, they were sort of in, oh, you go go into vlogging, do some vlogging. And, and it went from there. So so that was, that's how it started. That, that's what motivated me. And then I did a couple and I thought, well, it's a nice little sort of, diary of this time in my life which is a uh, quite a changing period of my life yeah do you remember your first video that you done do you remember uh, that the, day the title all that without looking uh, oh, <laughs> the, the, i can the tell you first video <laughs> the very first video i actually made in terms of recording was the volcano one uh, yeah but i said that wasn't intending to be a vlog i think that was my yeah. second or third the first one God, I can't remember the title. But well, I, I well welcome to Cole's Place. That, was that it? <laughs> uh, it's finally here. Welcome to Cole's Place. That's it. <laughs> and, yeah, that was your... And then your second one was the volcano one. Um, yeah. 
the fifteenth, the twelfth, twenty twenty one is when you dated yeah. that on your video. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you actually you done your you done your introduction video. Uh, welcome to Cole's Place. So everybody knew who you were. You already knew your name. I think it's a very very good name. Obviously, Thank you. you're Colin, but yeah. everybody knows you as Cole's Place, and I think it's an easy <laughs> name to describe a person. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. what has been the best part of doing YouTube videos like since you've started? Oh, uh, overall, uh, it's it, it's I've met a thousand like yourself probably. I've met a thousand people, if not more, you know, through it. And made new friends, friends for life. That that has been mm-hmm. far and away the best uh, sort of part of it. But yeah. the best, the best sort of. Um, foundation of it if you like or the best experience of it it's just it, it's got me out doing things i wouldn't normally do had i not started youtube i wouldn't have done a fire walk you know i wouldn't yeah. have i wouldn't have gone on a boat in tenerife or up a helicopter i wouldn't have, there's a, a dozens of things i wouldn't have done without if i'd not had the channel so it's yeah. motivated me to sort of get out of my comfort zone and get out there as well you know and you appeared on other vlogger channels as well. You've appeared in a few videos with the Matt Master. I've seen the one you went swimming or something. You went on that <laughs> one. He was all over the place. I remember that one. Uh, so yeah. you've done a lot. You've been obviously on other channels, which is obviously yeah. a fun experience and oh, gives you yeah. an ins- it gives you an insight. You've obviously met Tim, um, yeah. and I mean Tim's a great guy. He has lives. You know what you're yeah. getting with Tim. Webby, obviously football, and you've got other vloggers as well uh, yeah. you've got scotsman kevin you've got listen there's a lot to name uh, I, I, there's yeah. so many now it's hard to name them all <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, yeah. but do you take any inspiration from any of them or do you just do your own thing or do you think well you know what i'm my own person i'll just do what i need to do because it's me like do you take ideas from other people or do you say oh you know what i'm going to do that too or have you got your own niche that you you know what you're doing back home and ten, at tenerife yeah yeah I, i'll be honest with you, i don't think i've got my own niche um however having said that we were chatting off camera um my most watched videos i mean nightlife you know people like to see me yeah dodging around veronica's um so if, if i've got a niche it's that but that's purely because of my sort of work experience and my yeah. my uh wayward youth um so <laughs> i can chat f- forever about nightlife um in terms of inspiration from the other guys um they've all inspired me every single one of them um you know ever and and you know they've all been really helpful from the world go you know, everybody from tim through to lee through to kevin they've all been there you know even you thrown advice at me and stuff um so you, you you take little chunks of inspiration from everybody i think yeah uh, i can i can relate to that one i yeah. think i think you're 100 percent right there you yeah. take everybody's like i've had advice as well you learn from your mistakes you can only improve some things are never we always make mistakes at some point in life and you're going to make yeah. them on camera as well but yeah. Talking about your most popular videos, yeah, your Tenerife ones do incredibly well. I think they're very entertaining. Uh, entertaining. Um, I mean, your 11 months ago was your 118,000 was your biggest video that you've done, uh, yeah. Tenerife Warning. <laughs> uh, then you've done, obviously, one with your friend as well, uh, with Eric, uh, yeah. two months ago, done, uh, done well too. And then you've got Fake Taxi. I thought that was quite funny. Uh, yeah, the the t- the title on that. I, mean, I was just waiting for like a wee detour there. <laughs> uh, sure. But yeah, you you've like, and uh, you got the Matt Master one too. Like when you're obviously singing in karaoke, like that's that that's kind of behind the scenes, isn't it? Because normally yeah. you wouldn't see that from other obviously other people. Because no. as I say, you other people have their own way of doing videos, and they might not want to put a video out behind the scenes. You kind of like show everything um and you obviously put it in a way that's obviously great for people to watch simple easy you obviously got your amb catchphrase uh which obviously makes people obviously understand who you are and yeah. you obviously know what that catchphrase you've probably got did you say you got a catchphrase 
Would you see that was just you know a what? habit? Putting the finger? Uh, it's more of a, the, the thing, giving it the finger. It's more of a habit. Is that, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I'm thinking back where that came from. If you go back to the early days when uh, yeah. when uh, Dan, Crapmaster Dan, he used to always, they always used to say to him, what's the temperature in Tenerife? And he'd come out. I can't remember the exact thing. It was like, it's 28 degrees all day, every day. <laughs> and I think it was like a little take on him, a little sort of nod or like a, yeah. a, a Mickey take to him. Because in my first videos that I did it, that it was in Tenerife and uh, so yeah. the temperature, oh, it's 28. And then it just went on from there. And then when I stopped doing it, people said to me, you're not doing your finger thing anymore. So I had to bring it back, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. According to my finger, it's uh, how many <laughs> degrees? <laughs> yeah. And the thing got the That's thing. Quality. The actual phrase is according to my finger and the thing th thing on my phone. And when yeah. I say that, I'm referring to uh, my Google weather gadget, whatever widget. You know, it comes yeah. up with the weather. You know, and then it tells you the temperature there and then. So uh, that, that's cool. I think that definitely needs to be put on a t-shirt, mate. Honestly, <laughs> according to my finger, <laughs> definitely that would be funny. Anyway, I'm just I've been ignoring some messages here. I'm just going to say hello for a few people. Um, yeah, you will know people as well. Uh, Marie, welcome. Stuart, welcome. Alan, welcome. Alan, great video by the way. Uh, Vinny, welcome. Uh, oh, just Vinny says, who do we have anyone we like tonight? <laughs> uh, who else do we have? Uh, Ian's on. Uh, Gina's on. Uh, who else have we got? The Disabled Traveler's on. Um, I had to actually start a new stream. I actually made a mistake before stream, guys. Uh, I deleted the old one. So if you don't mind, if you can share this right now uh, to any group you want, uh, and just let people aware that I've made a new stream just in case people were on the old one and noticed it was deleted. I don't know if yeah. that would have made a difference, but if you can share it, guys, share the stream, that would be awesome. Uh, let them know that I've got a special guest tonight on. Uh, Alan, uh, how you doing, buddy? We'll get into your questions a lot uh, soon, but I'll just read a couple just now. Uh, yeah. Someone's asked... What is your real age? Is that something you want to <laughs> tell people? You want, you want to start, <laughs> uh, Stuart. Start oh, Stuart. Oh, Stuart Donnelly. Cole, what is your real age? <laughs> 25. 25. Still young, mate. Still young. Going to your age, you're obviously a family man. You have yeah. one daughter, may I might say. Do you, have you got one? No, I've got two. One, one doesn't live here. One lives on the other okay. side of Bournemouth. Uh, very private. And then I've got one who lives with me here, Safi. Okay. Full of sleep. Yeah. And you work full time, or you're a DJ, I believe. Yeah, I, I used to work uh, up until last year. I was working for an insurance company, uh, mm -hmm. but now I've gone full time DJ instead. Uh, so I'm doing at the minute one Wednesday, Wednesday through to Sunday inclusive DJ now. So and five, five, five nights a week. Yeah, I noticed the place you advertise it on your group as well. For I mean, it must be the only pub in the UK that I know it does Sticky Thirteen, right? <laughs> because I see it nowhere else apart from your place. That must have been a thing you got them to start up because of obviously your Tenerife travels. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that it's a little pub around the corner. Uh, it's like a little real ale bar. And it was last Christmas. Well, that, yeah, we, we were just sitting there thinking of something to do. And uh, I see, you know, I showed them the games over in Tenerife, like Sticky 13 and the music bingo. Yeah. And we just did it as a one off. And it's once a month we do it. And uh, it, it just went, it went nuts. They're, they're booked out now in advance. <laughs> really? Yeah, That's crazy. It's, a, it's their busiest Saturday of, of the month. Uh, it, it, you know, does it, it, you can fit about, I think, about 100 people in there. And I just did one this Saturday night and it was, yeah, it was, it was packed. It's crazy. They, 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 they can't get enough of it. Is it yeah. £5? <laughs> it's, uh, no, we only charge a pound, a pound ago. A pound ago, yeah, 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 a pound ago. So we do music bingo, normal bingo, uh, you know, little games in between, uh, sticky thirteen, obviously, and yeah, uh, yeah they love it. it, it it's gone nuts. It's a little bit of Tenerife in Bournemouth, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and obviously <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game, but I'm guessing you can't have the same banter as well. I would guess. Considering we're in the UK and that's abroad, and everything that usually happens abroad is usually over eighteen and beyond. You know what I mean, so I'm guessing, like it's toned down a wee bit for the UK, but 
you never know. <laughs> it's, well, it's an over 18s pub. They don't let kids in there. Um, oh, right. Okay. So, so I can go a bit. I mean, like we, we had them. I think it was last June, July. We had them doing the full Monty. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, we had four, four or five blokes up doing a full Monty, and that that went a bit probably further than it should. So, it, they do let me. They give me a bit of artistic license. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and do you enjoy? Um, doing what you're doing every single night, do you the music you're playing, the crowd you get in? I mean, is it is it fun for you? Is it a hobby or? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not digging holes. It's it's a great job. Uh, you know, probably Rick and Shelley get over in Tenerife and the entertainers over there. I get yeah. people come, you know, especially in the summer because Bournemouth's beautiful in the summer. Uh, and they come and say, oh, you've got a great life. You know, you live in a holiday resort. You you, you know, you you do this, you do that. So you, there's a rough with the smooth. It's got its down points because you are dealing with drunk people at the end of the day, uh, yeah. some of which aren't always the ideal customer. But 99% of people are just out to have a laugh. And yeah. you've just you've just got to go with them, you know. And, and I'm lucky in that the venues are working are all fairly different to each other. So I've got like a little locals pub. I've got the pub where we do the Sticky 13, uh, which is like a little bit of real ale bar. Uh, the one I do tomorrow night is like a pub sort of stroke nightclub. Um, my Friday night venue is like a pub you'd get in Tenerife, you know, like a yeah. holiday pub. People come there on holiday, so they're all different. So I can do different things in each one. So that, that's I'm quite quite privileged to be there. Yeah. So it's safe to say that you're a DJ and family man. Any other hobbies that we don't know about that? I don't get time for anything else, mate. No. <laughs> no. You obviously are a kind person. I've met you, you. Uh, in Tenerife. And, I mean, we've only had a short period of time together. But for me, and watching your videos, you are a really nice person. And I've seen you off camera as well, and you're still a nice person. Um, and that's the th best thing about, for me, I don't know if you're the same, I'm going to ask you that. But meeting new people and getting to know how they are um, is obviously great. But you yourself, I think everybody can everybody can relate that you're such a genuine person and kind guy. Uh, talking about Tenerife, uh, mm. this trip, uh, yeah. what was your highlight? Um, oh, the highlight is having staff with me, I've got to be honest with you. Um, there's loads of highlights. Um, I met loads of people, you know, people you've probably met as well. Uh, there's yeah, Anne, David, all the regulars were there because it was St. Patrick's, which is a massive party. Um, but it was like it was a highlight and an achievement at the same time because Saf mm. hadn't been away for eight years because she wasn't too keen on the flying. But to have her there with me and sharing the experience of meeting everybody and doing all the things that you do when you're in Tenerife with her, now she's that little bit older because she was last there when she was about seven years old. Now she's 15, nearly 16. So, you know, you, you've got your daughter and your, and, your, and your mate there as well sort of thing. So yeah. we we did all the regular stuff you do in Tenerife. You know, you go to Lucky Sevens Burger, you go with, <laughs> you go there. But I had her with me, so that, that was superb. I really enjoyed it. And did you take yeah. your checkbook with you? <laughs> I had to. I think we've got, I've gone into overdraft on the overdraft with her. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, can I have this? Dad, can I go on this? Dad, can we buy that, annual tickets for Siam Park? Oh, that was yeah, that, that must was that, a, that, that's a crazy one. That one, yeah, yeah. no, because what I said, she didn't want to come back once she was there. She loved it, and she's always loved Tenerife. You know, it was the flying, mm. not Tenerife. Everyone said, Oh, she doesn't like Tenerife. We never see her there. Not the case. She loves Tenerife, uh, yeah. like I do. Um, but she didn't like the ear problems that you get sometimes on a plane and that oh yeah out. yeah but uh once she was there she she literally got bitten by the bug you know like like yeah. a lot of people do and uh she didn't want to come back didn't want to come back and i said right listen so we are going to come back and i said what we'll do is she loves Science park we spent two out of the two or three out of the ten days there um and yeah i said come on if we're going to come back because it's 40 odd quid a day to get in each shot 80 quid you know so if we're going to come back we're gonna we'll get we'll get annual passes and then we're committed to coming back then, and it you know it just made us feel better about having to come back to the UK knowing that yeah. we've we've committed to go back. So there's a I trip in the uh, pipeline. Oh, is there a trip in the pipeline? Oh, we might find out space. about that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Was it expensive to get annual passes? I didn't actually know you could buy annual passes. I thought it was just for people who were residents of Tenerife. No, no, you, you can buy it. All you need is your passport. You get you go to the main desk and they literally do it there and then they take your photo, which printed on the card. Uh, and it was 100, one, €149 Euro each. So that sounds a lot of money and it is a lot of money. That's what, at the going rate, it's about £120 each, something like that. Is that three times you've got to go to get your money's worth? Basically. Yeah. yeah. So if, if you work it out, if you're going to do a couple of weeks, you know, separate occasions there, you know, you've only got to go three times and, and you've, yeah. you've they've paid for themselves. If you're going to go for, and and we did it years ago when Saf's mum and I were together and, you know, they, they were very young. We did it then. And it's not just a case of you go to get your money. You can just go for a couple of hours. If you've got a couple of hours to spare, you know, you can just go and have a, a couple of hours in Cyan Park and then, you know, on the beach around the couple of the yeah. rides. And it, it, it doesn't cost you the 40 quid for the couple of hours. You know, it you, you just yeah. come in and out as you go. So I think so Blackpool's the same. I think they had passes. Blackpool are now doing, like, what annoyed me is my, my missus, Kirsty, doesn't go on any of the rides, maybe just yeah. the small ones. But she, yeah. still, she still has to pay for uh, a pass. So yeah. now they're brought back, you can walk around with n- no pass. So yeah. you don't need a ticket anymore. So I've never, I've, I mean, I've never been to Zion Park. Uh, I've always wanted to go, but yeah. I've heard it's he- hilly. Is it hilly or? It's not, but when you go, because the slides, obviously, are, you start at the top, but you do have to climb the stairs to get to the slides. So some are steeper than others. So yeah. the big, the big Tower of Power, for example, that is like a, a staircase right up to the top you know you're talking a good depends how fit you are but you're talking a good 10 15 minutes worth of stairs yeah whereas some of them are more gradual you know they're, they're not steps they're sort of like a gradiated path if you know what i mean so some are worse than others but the actual yeah. park itself to walk around isn't hilly yeah no. yeah i do want to go and i might i might go in my travels i don't know i've not decided yet i think i think in june it'll be quite busy uh, i think it'll be heaving in june I'm thinking about getting the VIP VIP ticket to get round the rides quicker. That way, I've only got one day there, haven't I? So I'll yeah, give I mean, you a bit of advice there because what what you can do if you buy a normal ticket, yeah. um, what you're referring to is a fast pass. Okay, right. so you you got like the fast pass queuing system. If you you can actually buy the fast pass separately in the park. So okay. if you're going in June, that's not peak time. That's not children's holidays. It's only busy during kids' holidays. So if you go in June, if you just pay for your normal ticket to get in, uh, and then you're in, you can you can ju- go go to a couple of the slides and see how big the queues are. If the queues aren't that yeah. big, they weren't that big last week. We we were on straight on them all the time. Straight on. If there's massive queues, then you you spend your extra twenty quid on the fast pass. Yeah. But if, if there's no, queues, no point having a fast pass. Yeah, it's great, and I'm guessing because you did mention that your picture was taken, you can't share the tickets with anyone. You can't go, no. well, you're going across the Tenerife. There's the tickets. I'm guessing they're linked to your face. Yeah, and you've got a fingerprint <laughs> thing. When you walk in, you have to whack your finger on the fingerprint thing. <laughs> Would a photocopy of your face work? Just go up, my name's Cole. <laughs> I don't think so. That's it, because the fingerprint, there's like a fingerprint scanner. Oh, well. really? Like yeah. Disney? Yeah. It's the same it's the same thing with Disney in America, the fingerprint, yeah. I don't know, like obviously to stop people using multiple like tickets, I'm guessing. Yeah. But yeah. um still talking about Ten and Eve. Any drama, any gossip, any anything happened or No, not really. Uh I, I didn't meet I'll be honest, I didn't meet as many people as I wanted to. Um yeah. Purely because of time. I mean, I said a few weeks before I went, you know, because now Sa- I, w- I was only going purely because Saf wanted to go. I wouldn't yeah. have been able to have leave- left her for a whole week. Um, so I did say before I went, you know, it's, it's a Saf holiday. I'll, I'll be doing youtube stuff in the evening, whereas in the day I'm doing various things with Saf. So in that time was stretched a little bit. So there were people over there who, like, you know, viewers, mutual viewers we've got, who were over there, and I just didn't get a chance to see them. Having said that, I think I bumped into most people, um, but no, no, no gossip, not not as far as I know. Uh, nobody so went, fell over, uh, and cut their head, or nothing. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't have a big, massive boxing fight between all the vloggers over there because there was hundreds of you over there this time. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ke- 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 Scotsman Kev did challenge me, but I ran the other way. Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> he's a Scotsman. 
Uh, uh, yeah, um, obviously it was great seeing everybody over there watching yeah. your lives. They were very entertaining. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. It was great seeing everybody. It looks like everybody was having a good time. Um, yeah. Obviously, I would love to come for St. Paddy's, t- uh, St. Paddy's Day. I think it would be yeah. an experience that you've never... Well, only you would know that because you've done it. But yeah. I think any time in Tenerife is a good experience, isn't it? But I think that day is just special because everywhere is always busy. Well, every Irish bar is always busy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So other places as well, as well. But you met a lot of viewers over there. You met Anne. You met David. Yeah. Um, Anne, David, Trisha. Yeah. Uh, who else was it? Uh, Johnny, Johnny Vlogger was there. Johnny Vlogger flew out from here with us. Uh, who else yeah. was it? There was... Uh, Trying. God, there was probably Damien Hooper was there. Uh, Tenerife Tez, who I'd not met before. That was a pleasure. Uh, yeah. Who else? God, I'm, I'm forgetting names now. It's, it's only well, Kevin three. was there. Kevin was Kevin there. Was, yeah, Kev was there. Um, I, met, I met viewers. I'm not sure whether we share the same viewers, but there was there was uh, Lee, Mick. Um, Oh god! That, that is just... that is that the best part of doing doing videos is meeting people like people come up to you because I've had a few right and I, you probably get more than me but people come up to you and go oh are you that guy on YouTube or oh you <laughs> I mean is that do you do you like that if people just come up randomly and say hi to you well do you know what on if you look on the first live that I did which was outside the church in Los Cristianos there was myself right. Alan David Rick was there just Rick was there. Uh, and Alan Sterling and his Mrs. Jenna turned up. Anyway, I was literally yabbering away as we are now, and a guy yeah. went on my shoulder like that. Uh, but on, and, and at first, it's a little bit disconcerting, you know. Like the Scotsman, Kevin, Rick, and them, they take it in the stride. Um, yeah. You know, it's second nature to them. You can't walk up the street with Kevin more than five meters with somebody shouting him. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but because I think because it doesn't happen that often to me. It does happen uh, quite a bit, but not often as like to Kevin, obviously. So I'm still in the getting used to it phase. You know what I mean? You know. Mm. So, but it's it's a, it's a nice. It's really nice. It's nice when people do it. Yeah, you can't yeah. deny it. It, it, it. It's great. You know the fact that they say, "Oh, we watch your channel. We like your videos." Blah blah blah. You know, it, it makes it worth doing even more, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It definitely does, mate. Uh, any future plans? Like, what's your plans in the next, say, let's not go too far ahead. Let's go a year. And what's your plans in the future for your channel? What, what do you think you're going to be doing? Or Obviously, you said you've got more trips in the pipe work. Obviously, yeah. that's going to happen with an annual pass to Zion Park. But yeah. <laughs> what, are your, what are your plans for, like, vlogs with other people, collaborations, other different types of videos? Are you planning on doing the same sort of stuff, showing the same sort of stuff? Whatever you yeah. want to do. Oh, uh, I mean, I've got to vlog more. Uh, the, my big weakness at the minute, and it's a time thing, you know, without beating myself up, it's a time thing, Michael. Um, you know, I'm working, I'm looking after Sat from doing this, that and the other. In the past, uh, I've I've left it a week or two weeks, you know, between vlogs. And as you know, it's a numbers game. Uh, Kevin's always preaching it. Rick's always preaching it. It is a numbers game. If you want to build a channel, you've got to put the content out there. So one of my sort of uh, developed points, if you like, if there is any, is, is to vlog more, uh, whether I'm here or in Tenerife or whatever. Um, in terms of what I'm actually going to vlog, yeah, Saf's becoming a lot less dependent now. She's 16. Uh, she's doing her exams in June. Then she's got the summer off sick form. So, you know, she doesn't want me around or doesn't need me around as much. So that gives me more freedom. So I can, although I'm not going to be away every other week like Kev or whoever, I can get away to different places a bit easier now. So mm. I'd like to think over the next year I can do the Benidorms or the Lanzarotes or somewhere in France, you know, just go somewhere different. So that would be nice. And, obviously, and how I, I, I must... Most of Tenerife, because it's like a home, isn't it? You've yeah. made a home, you've made friends. You, you yeah. said yourself last time I came over, you had friends already there that are not in the YouTube scene. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 be, I mean, I believe myself. I made a few friends in Tenerife now. One being yeah. Tim, one being Webby. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've got to say, I wouldn't plan. I'm going back in June. Yeah. And I've not done a video on pronouncing it yet, but I don't mind telling. I booked June. But I believe I'm going there by myself so far. I've That's not found out anybody else is going. But I plan to do some videos, but I'm not going to do too much. 
but I've got four knights and I'm going to show a bit more of the island. I'm going to hire a moped and I'm going to yeah. see if I can show different places a, a different way. I've got the drone now too, so yeah. I can take I can take the drone up. Uh, so I'm going to I'm just didn't just want to stick to doing hotels and they do quite well, but. How many hotels can you do? Do you know what I mean? The one you stay at, that's fine. But I didn't just want to travel around hotels. Mm. I'm going to travel and look at the countryside. Look at look at the views. I think you done a video. Mm. Or I don't know if it's on your channel yet. Um, you went. Is it called Manas Gasta or whatever it's called? Masca. I've seen a few. Masca. Masca. Uh, Masca. Yeah. I've seen. I've, yeah. I've seen a few of them. Um, yeah. going up from different vloggers. Um, North yeah. Ten Eve Man put one up the other day there too. And the views look incredible. Like, I oh, need stunning. to take my drone up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't think, I'm not sure if you can, I'm sure, because uh, I'm sure I saw a sign saying no drones, or it was at somewhere else. But check it, check it out, you know, whether you can or not. But anyway. I will be looking the rules. Yeah, yeah, it's it's stunning. It is, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a pain to get to. If you're going to, mind you, if you're going on a moped, you'll be fine, or a scooter, you'll be fine. But to go in a car, it's it, it's a victim of its own success. It's a it's yeah. a very very tiny village. And when I say tiny village, no more than a dozen properties are there. And yeah. to get to it, you've literally got to go up the windy road and down the windy road. And there's about twenty parking spaces for like twenty thousand tourists. That's exactly <laughs> what it's like, you know. And most of them are taken up by the jeeps, safari jeeps that do the excursions or the big buses. And you're literally battling for a car park space. I didn't and know. What? I didn't know that was there. You know what I mean? It just. It, I mean, you would. I know where it is because I know where Dan's shop is because I've yeah. been there twice. But I didn't yeah. know if you go that way or left, you head a wee bit over. You got some incredible views. You think you're like Barbados. You know what I mean? The like in the like mm. Saint Lucia's and all that. When you've got the uh, the pitons and all that, can it looks yeah. incredible and. Yeah, I, I, you've not put that video out yet, have you? No, I'm, I'm, I've got about eight or nine to do yet, yeah, and that's one of yeah. them. Uh, Masco, mas oh yeah, it's, if you get the chance to go, mate, definitely go. Um, yeah. yeah, once you're there, it's absolutely stunning. There's a little shop down the bottom that sells cactus ice cream. I had one of them, that was nice. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It, it, just to visit alone, whether you vlog it or not, you know, you, it, it's worth going. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we went. We went to Puerto de la Cruz. Uh, we spent. We were only going to go for a couple of hours after the Masca, but after Masca trip, but we ended up staying all night. It's absolutely stunning, Puerto de la Cruz, where yeah. the basins live. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then we went down the other way to El Medino and beyond that way as well. So, like I said before, having Saf with me, I wouldn't have done those things on my own. You know what I mean? It was just yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to take her to show her the said, island as well. So I said, I'm yeah. going to tell you something that uh, I've, I've I've not normally say. I am 39 years old. Yeah. When I my, me and me and my, my, my real dad was separated with my mother, and yeah. my when I was 16 or I think I was actually 15, 16. My first yeah. holiday with my real father was Tenerife, yeah. and we went, and I had the best time of my life. Oh, when yeah. when he knew that, he took me back three times before my stepsister came uh, along with, and they were the best holidays ever. I mean, I mean going at Tenerife and going to the bars was, and the music, the venues, <laughs> places <laughs> were the best part, seeing stuff that you would never see being 16 year old it's giving you an experience so i can relate to your daughter want to spend quality time with the father with you the father and that's just amazing do you know what i mean and she's going to yeah, do want to that. do that a lot more uh but there's going to become a time yeah. daddy <laughs> or dad uh, is your bank open because i want to go with my pals to tenerife <laughs> You know, at least she knows what she's getting when she goes there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, you know, uh, no, no, I appreciate you saying that. And it, that's exactly what I was trying to achieve with it, definitely. 100%. Yeah. You know, definitely, the, the mate, definitely. She, yeah, the very fact that she wants to come back speaks well. Quality, to, quality time yeah, is I very important. Her, yeah, I, t I took her down Veronica's. Oh, did you? Yeah, I took her down Veronica's. Inside? I've, I've, I've logged it. Yeah, I took her down. It was, it was half past 12 at night, come midnight. And I said, right, come on. Because she, she wasn't too well on the Monday, and uh, she 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 was a bit sort of I think the heat and all that you know, 
And she came round at about eight, nine o'clock when it had cooled down. We went out, got something to eat. And uh, we just happened to be down there, really. And yeah. I said, come on, I'll, I'll show you Veronica's. And we did a video. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she, she's, not one, she's not one going for pub. She's, you know, here in Bournemouth, you'll, you'll never see her in a bar. Uh, she's not that sort of kid. But, you know, she, I think she just loved the experience. And it was great. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, I'm, and I, thought, I put it up. I put the video up. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to get some stick for this. Don't take your daughter down there. It's full of drugs. But, no, uh, you know, I'm lucky in that I know a few of the people who work along there. So. Yeah. I'm never on my own. Uh, you know, I I've always noticed fair. that about you. You always walk past somewhere and then you know someone. You know what I mean? It's like, how do you how do you start? Because I could walk down Veronica's. I have walked down Veronica's. And if I had my camera, like, I wouldn't put my camera right in the building, what you do. I mean, <laughs> and I know you say you know people, and obviously people don't obviously think that everybody's okay doing it. It's totally different yeah. in the UK. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know what to say to people. I would say hello, hiya, but no, I wouldn't put my myself in that. So you, you do take a risk, but you do know people. So that's why you do it for the it's views. A, yeah, Cal calculated risk. Yeah, and people want to see that sort of thing. People love to see live action, what's happening yeah. now. Not too much, but they love to see things that are happening in that present moment. St Paddy's Day being one. The, yeah. the live, I mean, people like to see what's happening, how busy it is, and yeah. you know, I mean, I enjoy watching them. I think a lot of people enjoy watching them. Yeah. Going to some viewer questions now because I have yeah. been neglecting uh, all no, these people. No, yeah, proper neglecting them. There's loads. Uh, yeah, I've <laughs> see, I'm, Tim wasn't on live tonight, was he? I didn't see him. No, Tim wasn't didn't on live. Him. I hope he's okay. Can I, I didn't see any posts, and he wouldn't be. Uh, right, any questions for Cole's place? Put them in the comments now. We're going to go through. Uh, Colin, as well, if you've noticed any questions that I've missed, uh, then just read them out. Uh, well, let me get my place now. Uh, Scousers are very nice people, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Don't think uh, Nigel's, Nigel's referred to my accent there. I'm, I'm actually from a, a, city, a city called Chester, which is about 20 miles south of Liverpool. So... To some people, um, my accent does sound, you know, it's got like a bit of a scouse tap twang to it. But like Vinny says there, uh, I'm from Chester. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I'm not from it. But Liverpool's a great city, but uh, no, I'm not. I'm not he's, from, from he's a Roman. <laughs> a Roman, yeah, because Chester, Chester's a Roman city. Uh, it's a yeah. it's, got, it's got Roman walls. So, uh, Vin, Vinny lives close, not far from where I'm, I'm actually from, actually. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Alan's homemade vlogs. We are over the 9th of October for two weeks. Uh, would be great if some folk are over. Yeah, that's why the, the Facebook group was set up. So if anybody is over in Tenerife, call Tenerife yeah. Friends. Uh, and if you want to put it in there when you're going and if other people are there, you can meet up with them one night and have drinks and have a good time. But Alan, yeah, 9th of October will be busy. I believe October is really expensive for Tenerife now. I find it the most expensive time to go now. I mean, mm. I, I mean, July, August seems cheaper than October. Yeah, that's yeah. that's I've what I off. think. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Uh, Marie, never been to Watermark in Tenerife. Uh, you've never been to Siam Park. I'm guessing she was meaning. Yeah, never been to Watermark. Yeah, does sound. Yeah, yeah. Go, Marie. Uh, it's worth it. Even if you just go for one day. <laughs> worth it for the yeah. experience. Stuart, he didn't get a good deal on a handbag like you did, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've done that video. I, listen, I always try to do something different, right? I don't want to always do the same thing. And, yeah, you do some food, then you do some hotels. But I came up with that idea in my head, and I wrote it down. And I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I've got my camera from my head. I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to interact with them. I'm going to see if I can haggle with them, and I'll make it into a video. And that video has actually done really well. And I will be planning some sort of other one. I don't know yet. But there are friendly people. Oh, and yeah. The, yeah, I mean, despite what you think about it, they are selling counterfeit items. But they're very, very friendly, and you might get a few of them who won't leave you alone. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, if you want something, you're going to buy it. Yeah, you know I mean, even if it's counterfeit or no. But like, they're always going to start off at like a hundred euros. You're going to get them doing eighty percent, ninety percent, whatever you can haggle with them. 
Yeah, it's part, um, part of the fun. Yeah, part of the fun. Uh, actually, Marie, um, just, just, yeah. sorry, just, go back, just go back on a point there, Michael, about I didn't get a good deal on a handbag. I actually did mean to buy a handbag. Um, if you look on my videos, the ones I do around um, La Paz, where the Irish bar is, the hole in the wall, and Sol, what's it, Sol, Sol Central, whatever it's called, um, yeah. that little strip of bars behind the Safari Centre. Um, there's, a, there's a guy there who sells handbags. He's in, he's in a couple of my videos. I refer to him as Lenny Henry because he, yeah. he looks like Lenny Henry. And he's been there for years. And um, with me having my daughter with me, I saw him on the first night, but I didn't have any cash. And I said to him, Lenny, I'll be back later in the week to get a handbag. And uh, we didn't go down there after that. So I was going to buy her a bag, but I, I didn't actually see him. And uh, yeah. I, I, I'm sad though, it's sad. You, you're right. They, they are nice guys. There's, there's a couple. Listen, the, the, with the lucky, lucky men, it's like any resort, right? They've, a lot of them have been there a long time. The older ones have been there a long time. Um, yeah. I've known there's a couple on there I've known for like 15, 20 years. Uh, but there's there's some of the younger ones. The, some of the younger ones, like anything in life, they they do give it a bad rep. They hound people. It has to be said, some of them will offer you drugs. You know, you, you must have been offered that. Oh, oh, do you want Charlie? And this yeah. And the other. You just got to say no. They know yeah. when to stop. You know, but most of them, especially around the safari center area. I've been there for years doing it, and you've spoken to Michael. They're absolutely fine, you know. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't want them there, just just ignore yeah. them. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. people obviously people know. Like when I'm doing a video, we call those a video. We are we 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 are doing it for the video, and there'll be a like when I'm not doing a video, like I just tell them politely, sorry, not interested. But sometimes they come up to you, and especially with the bracelet thing, I don't know if that's still going. But you just at first you're going to you're going to notice it. And then you'll just start walking away a bit more because you're thinking, oh, you, you mean you learn from your mistakes. And I wouldn't say it's a big, massive, there's more things going on in Tenerife and other parts of the world that involve more than just a base. Like at the end of the day, to be fair, you mentioned this. It's not really a scam. It's a hustle, right? It's, it's something, you're getting something for your money. So if you pay £5 or £2 or £3 for that, you're still getting a bracelet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You still got an item like you would buy from the shop. So yeah, it might be cheap something. It might only cost them fifty cent, and you're spending <laughs> five. But that's what I'm saying. It's not a scam. It's a hustle. So you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's a dodgy are, sales pitch. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a sales tactic. And <laughs> as I say, you saw my video. All that footage was what happened that night when the guy came up to me and interacted with me and started being friendly, and then he just slammed it. He just slammed the bracelet in my hand. Like <laughs> he had a he had an agenda. He was being nice to start with, but he knew he was going to try and get me to buy a bracelet. Do you know what I mean? So it, it, it's fun, but at the end of the day, it can you know what I mean? Like it can Kennedy, work. People it can be. Yeah, right? yeah. It uh, it looked like a GB vloggers con convention. Uh, Nigel, I'm guessing all the bloggers <laughs> over there. <laughs> well, at least yeah, they're all friendly. <laughs> uh, he's coming to Scotland, Michael. Who's coming to Scotland, Stuart? Col are you com Colin, you come to Scotland? I've not announced that. I, I, I no. would do if it wasn't so cold. Oh, see, there you go. i tell you what, though. We had, we had great weather. Yes, I was out yesterday, and it was the nicest day uh, for doing a couple of vlogs. I took the yeah. drone up. I took, I'd done two videos yesterday. I'd done the one I put on my channel now, and yep. I'd done another one which is going to require a wee bit more editing. So I've got a wedding next weekend, so I'm away at the weekend, staying somewhere outside Glasgow for for two yep. nights. Nice. And um, yeah, so I've got to edit that one, so that won't be out to the weekend. But yeah, it was a lovely day yesterday, but it was bad today. I mean, the, the weather wasn't good today, but. I mean, at Scotland, what can you say? It could be nice one minute and rainy the next. Uh, uh, questions have we got quite far. I'm not that far behind. Uh, yeah. You need to be ultra careful on a moped uh, in Tenerife, bro. I'm an ex-biker. Uh, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, totally agree with you. I, had a, I actually had a PCX for f four years. I had my PCX 125. Uh, I had on a CBT, so I'd done the courses, and then it got stolen, and then I decided, you know what, I'll do my car, and I passed my test on my car, uh, and uh, on a broad though, I will be careful, I won't be going motorway, I'll be going back roads, 
And yeah. it's basically just to show I maybe go up the mountain and look at the can stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like I've done the mop I've done the quads twice already and I want a wee bit more time that I can just sit there and enjoy the views and that's what I want to do. I've not hundred percent go to figure it out yet. I've I've emailed Dan's company and I've asked them how much it would be to hire a, a, a PCX one two five. Uh, so I'm still waiting to reply. Uh, but regarding the cost, I think it will be a good to get out there and travel between places instead yeah. of just going down, for, uh, going and. No, I mean it'll be different yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Experience, and then I can showcase it as well. So I can yeah. show it to you guys, people that want to watch about ten and eighth. You know, I mean, I can show you a bit of ten and eighth that people might not get to see, and people might want to see instead of. I mean, I don't know what just do walk down um the golden mile i mean a lot of people do that so let's do something yeah. different this time we'll do yeah. some food reviews we'll do the hotel we'll do other things we'll i'll yeah. sort something out with tim and maybe and we'll just enjoy it uh stuart is, says i was intending to first speak in march and the police were very uh, visible on the golden mile it was uh it was keeping the bracelet guys away yeah, have you noticed that Tenerife, um, the police being more visible in Tenerife now? Uh, on the Golden Mile, I didn't know. I was I was on the Golden Mile. What about out the ten nights? Maybe three yeah. or four. I'll be honest with you, I didn't see any on the Golden Mile. Uh, I saw a couple yeah. going up and down as you normally do, but I didn't see any of them being sort of proactive in shifting anyone. However, uh, what I did see, they were they were down Veronica's a lot more. Um, the, the pickpocketing issue down there. Um, just before you get to Veronica's, where Leonardo's is, because um, we hired a car, Saf and myself, we had a car, and we were driving down there one night, and we actually pulled over to let a police car and a van go past. We pulled in, went flying past us, and right in front of us, they jumped out and lifted a couple of lads, and these they searched them, they had phones on them and all sorts. Yeah. So the action I saw was down Veronica's. I didn't see much on the Golden Mile, though. Yeah. yeah, I think I think they're being pressured by the mayor or uh, whoever uh, yeah. to start taking yeah. action. Obviously, yeah. it's a high tourist, like Tenerife is tourists go there and they want people to be safe because they don't want to damage their revenue and the yeah. custom that people love coming across there. Do you know what I mean? People want to be safe, but with any place, London was quite London's like bad for scams. Like you've got to be careful because so many people are around. Not yeah. saying it's going to happen. But just put your phone in your front pocket, not your back pocket. I see a lot of women though who put it on their back pocket, tight oh, against uh, the buttocks, uh, <laughs> uh, and then and that's that, that's saying like, oh, that's a phone, that's an easy grab. So yeah. have a, I'll be, I have a bag when I go to Tenerife. I have it at the front. I have it zipped. I have my hand round it. You know what I mean? Like I have all my money, not all my money, but you know what I mean. Like I always try and be safe as possible. But then again. The last time I was in Tenerife, I was by myself at sometimes at night. And like you 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 are safe. I do feel safe, but there's areas I, I wouldn't go by myself. I'm not saying they're bad areas. I just saying no. I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable unless it had lights. So yeah. you know what I mean? If you if you if you get a good reaction about somewhere, trust your gut instinct and don't go yeah. simple as that. You know, you've got to keep yourself safe. I mean, do you, look, look, I tell you something, right? And anybody who works on Veronica, I'm not denying, right, that there is an issue. Uh, I'm a big thing of Veronica's, mate. I don't want to get any soapbox, mate. But um, there's a big thing with Veronica's. It's got this inherent reputation for being dodgy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has got its issues. People do get pickpocketed. People do get things nicked. People do get mugged. You know, fights do happen. But that happens in every single ice street up and down Britain. Bournemouth's one of the worst for it. Now, I've been filming down there now. I've had the channel for two years. So when I'm filming, I'm stone cold sober down there because you have to keep your wits about you if you're walking mm -hmm. around with a GoPro or whatever. Now, I've sat, I've stood there and watched. on. You know, I, if you come out of the bars in Veronica, you've got that big wall. I've stood there on, on occasions and I've watched young girls. They've got the big tall tables that they put the drinks on. I've watched them put the handbag on a table or they've gone on the phone and put the phone on a table. And then they've, they've just walked off and left it there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they've left a drink there. I've seen lads literally 
close to being passed out on the floor with the phones and wallets and money sticking out of the pockets. Now, it's crazy. as I say, I'm not denying things, dodgy things don't go on down there. Having said that, there has to be, without victim blaming, there has to be a degree of self-responsibility that you have to take as well. If you're going to go out and, like you just said, stick your phone out your back pocket or leave it on a table or all that, you, you, you're making yourself vulnerable. Yeah. As as that. And, it, and it, happens, yeah. it happens every night of the week, you know. I think we all learn when we're young, and I think the yeah. people who you just described will learn eventually. Me, yeah. me, the last time me and Kirsty came to Tenerife, me, me and her, I actually said to her, I want to have one night that I go to Veronica's. Yeah. And we did that, and we were there. I can't remember where, what time we went at, but I know what time we left. And yeah. as soon as we approached some of the bars, we, had, we were greeted by a guy, obviously yeah. a guy trying to sell drinks. He was like, I can give you four drinks for 20 euros yeah. and, and two three shots. And I'm like, well, that's five pound, that's five euro for four drinks. I think, well, you know what, for being down here, I think as long as they're bottle drinks, we're quite happy. Uh, yeah. So I got four Heinekens. There were small bottles, but four Heinekens. And yeah. um, the next one we went to was a couple of cocktails. We trust that a wee bit better. But yeah. it, one of them, we went to the next one and he kind of tricked us a wee bit because he came over with eight bottles or eight drinks and said that'll be 40. And I went, but we only we only wanted four. So we just paid yeah. it. But we were getting value for money and we sat yeah. in there for a while and we left at four o'clock. The, yeah. Apart from the tables being small and the fact that I've got, like, I'm a big guy and I, I believe they place is only designed for skinny people these days. <laughs> uh, passion passion Pushing through people was very, very difficult, especially yeah. when you're tight with the tables. Uh, so we had a great time outside. I mean, we, we never went inside and danced or nothing, but yeah. the experience was bringing back my younger days, which kind of, yeah. we, went, we went across the road as well to the nightclub, uh, and that place is just totally different now. It's, we sat on the sofas, we had a nice drink, we had a nice chat, it was a bit more chilled, yeah. and then yeah. we left about four o'clock. And at four o'clock, I mean, it's open till six o'clock, isn't it? So yeah. we enjoyed it. We were steaming, and well, we'll never do it again because yeah, we, we yeah, yeah, because I'm nearly forty now this year, and yeah. I like I like a bit of entertainment. Any bar yeah. I go to in Tenerife, I like to know there's a singer. I like to yeah. know there's a dancer. I can't just go to a bar. I can go to a bar without yeah. entertainment, but um, depending obviously what group you're in and stuff like that. But for me and her. When we go to Tenerife, we like to see entertainment and we enjoy it. So yeah. I don't know if you're the same. Do you like you like entertainment, don't you? Yeah, I love entertainment. Um, I'm, you know, I, I'm not, believe it or not, I don't actually spend that many nights down, Veronica, because I'm more in the Dublin where they got the band on. Yeah, it's love good the, there. Okay, love, right. Yeah, love the live music. Uh, you know, La Paz Strip that I mentioned earlier with the, the Soul Place and, and the Irish Bar Hall in the Wall. I'll, I'll I'll stand there all night listening, you know, uh, <laughs> you know the 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 the, uh, the soul acts, you know, like Soul Brothers and all that. I can't get enough. Yeah, of it. oh, they're good. Like, they're really good. We watched them. Yeah. They're really good. Like yeah. I feel like sometimes they're not on for long enough because you feel. Yeah. I know they've got loads of acts per night. They probably have multiple destinations to go to each night, and they're only like on for like fifty minutes to <coughs> an hour, uh, and yeah. each destination. But they are good. Uh, they're good at what they do, especially the tall, the big tall guy. He's a great singer, uh, very popular act. Uh, but there's some other incredible acts also over there. Um, you know, what I mean, I don't know if you know a few. You know what I mean, there's a, you've got a couple of other singers as well. You've got there's Adele. I watched her. I mean, yeah. you know, what I mean, she was a good singer. You've got obviously uh, Shelley. I believe uh, sings over there as well. She's popular, very popular over there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She she works she works practically every night of the week. I think um, there's comedy stuff as well. Um, uh, there's a Scottish fella, Billy Porter. Not my not yeah. my cup of tea, but he seems popular. I, yeah, you know, he's you know. Oh, yeah. If if you like it, there's there's something there's something there for you know that suits yeah. most people. But having said that, I'm still young at heart, so the odd, the odd, the odd uh, John Down Tramps yeah. or, or Veronica's doesn't do me any harm either. But again, 
each to their own. You know, that that's a good thing about it. Um, going back to some of the comments now. Uh, yeah, well, we, we, I forgot where I was. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy to catch the Tenerife bug. Yes, it is. It is definitely easy <laughs> to catch it. I think everybody just relates to it, doesn't it? Everybody loves Tenerife. Uh, seen that video? Did she get a vodka? Ha ha, Vinny. I'm guessing. Uh, uh, Vinny, come on, eh? Come on. No, what, what it was at the, <laughs> at the very start of it, I said, are you, are you ready to go and have a little round Veronica's staff? And she goes, yeah, I might have a vodka. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. She's never had a vodka in her life. Um, but no, no, she, she didn't get a vodka. Although, having said that, a couple, uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but a couple of the bar owners said, Do you want to come in for a drink? And I said, I can't because she's 15. Oh, it'd be okay. Just put her in a corner. What does she want? I said, no, honestly, we're not coming in. I'm just doing a quick video. But they, they, were, they were more than well. It wasn't a busy, particularly busy night yeah. on there. It was, a, I think it was a Tuesday night or something like that. We went on a Wednesday night. So I, it wasn't like, I know every night's the same and all that, but it wasn't particularly Listen. busy. It wasn't yeah. particularly late. I, w- I wouldn't take her down there at two in the morning on a Saturday night, put it that way. No. Uh, I think, I think because she's with you, I mean, I was younger when I was 16 years old. You know I mean? I had beers, but I was supervised with my father. Yeah. So yeah. I think being, that's, that you're the father, you make the decisions, no one anybody else should yeah. tell you what to do. So yeah, we'll leave it there for that one. Uh, yeah. hey, listen, uh, if she wanted, if, if she wanted a drink at home or if, if she was out there, I wouldn't, wouldn't bother me. Yeah. All things in moderation. She's 15, 16 as kids yeah. in her year. You'd have a lot worse, but it's her choice not to. She doesn't yeah. want one. So I get, I, I totally get you. I totally get I'm you. I'm not going to force it either. You know, she's she, she seen the States. I get into Michael, so she's probably put it off. <laughs> You're still young at heart. Uh, yeah. How was your St. Paddy's night? Was that but was that a good night? Were you drunk all night or uh that wasn't I didn't have that many to be honest. Uh it was a great night. Uh I did the live. Uh then we went to I'm trying to think of what we really did. We yeah, that was it. I did the live and then we went up I finished the live at uh, opposite Veronica's actually. There was myself, all things Tenerife Keith. Yeah. Uh it was it Damien Hooper and my buddy Eric. We got in a taxi. We went down to Gaelic Corner. Saffa's mm-hmm. with us at this point. Uh, we went into Gaelic Corner. Bit of the entertainment there. That was absolutely fantastic. It gave a great atmosphere. Gaelic Corner. Is that when you done the video? <laughs> I, I, I did, that was part of it. But I'd ended it by then. But so we we went back. You know, just hey. so we could have a proper drink. And then uh, we got in a taxi. We went down to the Night Owl um, because Anne and David texted me saying they were going Night Owl. Shelley yeah. was on. But by the time we got there, they'd finished and they'd all gone. So we had one in the Night Owl. Uh, and then we went to the hole in the wall. Saf went back to the apartment. She'd had enough. Uh, we went to the hole in the wall. Uh, had a couple in there. Fantastic atmosphere. Uh, Fergal, Flaherty doing this gig. Uh, Anne and David met us in there, met a few other people. Uh, and then uh, it ended up with just myself and Keith, all things Tenerife Keith in the Dubliner. Yeah. That then I think we finished at about three in the morning. So it wasn't too bad. And he had a flight the next day, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> Rather than me. But he's nice. Yeah, you can do it. I know, I know. The Irish can drink. Uh, Stuart is asking you a question What is your favourite place to eat in Tenerife? Oh, God, there's loads, isn't there? Uh, on this trip, I've got to be honest with you, um, favourite place. On this trip, there's, there's the new, well, I say new, it's not new, it's about, I think it's over about half, six months or so now, there was that Mr Miyagi's, and I'm not a massive sort of Asian or chinese person, but we, Saf had been, she'd seen Mr Miyagi's and he did the katsu curries and all this and the noodles. Right. And she'd been saying all week, oh, come on, let's go. And I was, uh, so I thought I'll do it on the last night. It was absolutely superb. Love the food in this Miyagi's. Yeah, I had a, like a, a, what you call it, a curry. Absolutely fantastic. Um, ginger pig I like as well. Ginger pig's great. Uh, I'm not one for the old, a lot of people are recommending, you know, all the old sort of traditional places like uh, Mario's and, you know, all this, that and the other. I like to go to the sort of quirky type places, you know. Uh, not trendy, but quirky, some a bit different. Yeah. So if if I had to, if I had to pick a favourite that I'd go to every every time, it'd be Ginger Pig. Ginger Pig. 
Is that just because they do some good food in there, or you just food. like it? Aye. The, food, the food's fantastic. It's not expensive. You're talking a ten, a, a 10 12 quid for a main dish. Uh, nice beer in there. Great atmosphere. You know, it's a bit, bit hustle and bustle. Nice music in the background. It's not in your face. But, yeah, the food the food is absolutely spot on. Recommend the ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I do like a good Indian and a good Chinese when I do go on holiday. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, like, obviously I'm with the wife and Kirsty. She likes, yeah. she, I like to treat her. I like to try places that look fancy. One yeah. of them being the Chinese, uh, the Golden Mile. Uh, yeah. But we actually went to another Chinese where we paid half the price, not even half the price. And yeah. we had, actually, it was next to where you were staying. That, yeah, I think you walked past it on your live. So you have the Columbus Hotel, across the road from the Columbus, you've got that Chinese restaurant. I can't remember yeah, what it's called, me. right? Yeah. We went there for a meal, and it was absolutely great. Now, I think it only came to, with the drinks, it only came to, like, like 40 euros, something like that, uh, after getting started, our main course. Never got a dessert, but we ordered a few drinks, and that was fantastic. We it's enjoyed always chocolate block. It's always busy yeah. in there, Memphis. Yeah, yeah, another one you meet, up above, yeah. Yeah, it's and in the, end, in the end, we went to... The first time we came to Tenerife was Bobby's Free, which was I done a vlog on. That was very, very, very good considering what it looked like when we first. We've we've always been a a, a thing. We've got we've got to get over this uh, where if it looks dodgy, then you enter. But we <laughs> we took a risk. We went in and it didn't look like a restaurant. It just looked like a a pathway to an apartment area. And we sat down and we actually had a really good meal in there and I was like so yeah. surprised how value for money it was even with a discount and yeah. I enjoyed that and then we tried another Indian which was the one that always gets recommended we are across it's across the road from the Dubliner please help me here Tandoori Hut Tandoori Hut yes we tried the one in Player Las Americas we didn't like it the chicken was tough tough but saying that, and I'm quite fair, we went to Los Cristianos and we tried the one there and we had a lovely meal in there. So it maybe just have been an off day, maybe just something that's went wrong. These things happened. We gave yeah. it another try at Los Cristianos and it was absolutely delicious. Um, yeah. I always look on Google, I always look on TripAdvisor, but sometimes you need to take a risk. Sometimes yeah. you need to say, you know what? Some of these reviews might not be perfect. Take a risk. You're the only person that can decide if something's nice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Try anyway at once. Yeah. Uh, Trisha, Trisha's on. Hi, Evening, Michael Trisha. and Cole. Hi. Uh, we're just coming at 8 o'clock now, so we've hit the hour mark, but we'll spend an RB five minutes looking at comments. Uh, guys, remember to hit the thumbs up um, and subscribe to myself and Cole. Uh, who? What other questions have we got? Uh, can it be? Can it be? Can it be good food abroad? Yeah, I think food's part of your holiday. I would. I, I mean, having good food and having good company and having good entertainment is why you go to holiday. You know what I mean? Uh, can't see past star of Bengal. Stem star of Bengal. I think that'll be yeah, yeah, cracking that, lady. Is, is that the one across from Tandori Hut? That's it in Los Cruces, yeah, cracking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw a vlog with Johnny Vlogger in there last time. They'd done a live. Yeah. Um, I've got to admit, I might actually try there in June. I might do a vlog in there because I believe yeah, they have a set nice. menu. Yeah, uh, do for 12, 12, 12 quid, 12 yeah, beautiful, yeah. lovely food. And I might yeah. go in the afternoon and do a wee set menu vlog uh, because I do like a good Indian and I mean, it's not the first place you look at is Tandori Hut because of the lights. I think some people are brought in by lights. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, plus, if, plus if, as well, uh, 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 what's it, Andrew, Andrew Nightstride has sort of made it semi-famous. You know, he's always in there, so a lot of people follow his lead. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, God, he's in there all the time, yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people follow that, which is fair enough, but it's good to explore. Uh, Star Bengal's cracking over the road. Superb food. Yeah. Uh, talking about that, I did have my phone out. 
I was actually recording. They never said anything to me. Uh, I, I have got the footage still, but because I was, we were on like a like a, a relaxing night with the wife uh, with Kirsty. I didn't want to film too much, so I was going to make it a vlog, and then I decided to make it a short. But I haven't put it up yet. I haven't even edited yet. So I've got pictures of the food and the cocktails. The cocktails were amazing, and yep. um, I've still not put it up yet. But yeah, I mean, it is good food. I think everywhere would be good food. Um, yeah, it's got to be. I mean, yeah. Obviously, you know, I mean, you're not going to like certain places. You might not go back again. For me, it's price. Price, good food, and like, as long as they bring out the same kind of dishes all the time. The Indian we went for was actually all right, considering. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, I think places have the same kind of, like, some, the same way of making the food, you know what I mean? Like, it's always different in a way, but I enjoy yeah. it. Uh, right, are we caught up in questions? There's just one question there. Stuart Donison, do I remember Brannigan's Bar at Starco? Yes, I do. Uh, there was two Brannigan's Bars. The one in Starco was up behind um, Lineker's, I think, the one uh, Stuart's referring to. Um, it, I think it changed to Yates's, or it might have been, I can't remember now. Yeah. Uh, he used to have a big... Um, what you call them? You know the balls that you sit on and they throw you off into the inflatable. You used to have one of them outside it. Yeah. And then there was a Brannigan's bar over in Veronica's up until a few years ago because uh, my mate used to be general manager of it. So, yeah, I do remember them, Stuart. Good nights in both. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cole, uh, yeah. tonight has been a pleasure having you on. Uh, before, you we, uh, before we end the stream, I'm going to ask you... Um, one last time for people that's just tuned in. Uh, yeah. Any plans for the next couple of months? Which uh, you want to reveal anything or talk about anything or you got another chip in the pipeline? I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the next, so where are we now? Beginning. Let's say for argument's sake, beginning of April. So let's say between now and June. Uh, yeah, there is another trip. Um, there might be two trips planned. One. One will be to Tenerife. Um, there's an exclusive for you. Um, I've been booked. I've, I've got to get back to them. I've been booked for a massive gig here in Bournemouth, uh, which That's I'll be vlogging. Right. Yeah, I've heard about massive, that one. Yeah, massive, massive. It's a big rugby festival, Bournemouth Sevens. Um, I'm DJing there, which is an absolute oh, they, they, I, I can't wait for that. That's it at the end of May. So that, that I'll be vlogging that. They've, they've said to me, yeah, you can vlog. Their social media team's going to help me do it. They've got a massive social media team behind a festival. Um, I'm thinking, I'm playing, I'm toying with the idea of streaming my karaoke nights on a Friday live. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of that lately, um, mm. of mainly on TikTok. Yeah, a lot. Of, I mean, there, there is a kind of, I mean, I, I don't agree on as long as they ask people, I didn't yeah. see the point, but I see a lot of people t uh, putting TikToks out of nightclubs, live streams, chippies can yeah. like the, the live stream and everything so that yeah. is a good idea uh, yeah. to do your karaoke night uh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, just picking up on your point there one of the things that is stopping me well it's not stopping me but one of the things i'm getting right at the minute is the the permission side of it so there's two ways i can do it uh, i've got books with a list of songs in that i can put on the tables in the front page of the book i can put you are being streamed live on youtube you know and then yeah it gives people the option to walk out. Uh, also, I've got a massive big projector screen behind me that displays the words to the song. Every yeah. now and again, I'll, I'll put a flash up, you know, this is live on YouTube. Uh, so if I do that, then that's covered. It's up to people whether they want to stay then. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. But the other side of it as well is, you know, you, it, it's one of those things you don't, you never know what you're going to film. It is a busy pub at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, um, that, so, yeah, that, that, that that that's the thing, and I totally agree with you there. As long as you, I mean, ask people, uh, yeah. e even just having a sign on the door, letting them know that uh, the the, the karaoke has been going to be on their Facebook. Uh, yeah, I think no one will have a problem with that, but you might get occasional one person who might put a privacy claim in, and I've seen it all over YouTube sometimes yeah. where people didn't want their pictures on the internet. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a great idea. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you've not done it by now. Um, yeah. I, I would Everyone definitely watch. That. I think it would be <laughs> entertaining. Because I would like to see you. And briefly before we end, 
talking about, and I'll, I'll have a conversation with you off camera as well. I will be planning to come down and see you uh, yeah. in the summer sometime. Yeah, yeah, and maybe yeah. you can show me about, and I might come to your, and you'll probably be working one of the nights, no doubt, but I will come and see you DJ or do what you need to do. Yeah. And yeah, I hope um, um, I hope we can sort that out. Yeah, uh, yeah. It'll only be a couple of days because I was thinking, well, you know what, I could easily get the train down or maybe do a flight and I'll wait till the summer yeah. Try and get a cheap deal for a couple of nights and at least I get the weather. I can fill them. I'll yeah. look at some you can show me about the place, maybe go for a fish oh. and chips, uh do a video yeah. together. But I think it would be quite fun. Uh, in the, so, in the, yeah. In the summer down here, it's it's beautiful. We've got a seven yeah. mile long sandy beach and it's yeah, it's just like being in the med. It's absolutely uh, fantastic. I'm not gonna walk all that. <laughs> 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 I have got my drone though. So yeah. unless there's no flight restrictions, no, uh, because obviously beach. having my drone, I've got to check drone assist on the app, which tells me flight restrictions. And yeah. as long as it's no near an airport, and I was actually speaking to Alan. Alan's actually doing um, Trun for the golf. Yeah. And Alan's been doing some great vlogs just now regarding the build up to obviously how everything is set up. Uh, I think he's involved in a lot of things happening there just now. Well, I've said to him, listen, in a couple of months' time, I'll I'll come and do a vlog myself. If you can show me about, that'll be amazing. But then I was thinking about taking my drone up, but I didn't realise how close it was to the airport. And then he puts a video up with a plane coming past, and I'm like, yep, oh, I'm, def <laughs> I'm definitely not going to get... And he actually spoke to him the other night there on the phone, <laughs> and he actually to uh, told me that he has to get special permission uh, of special permission from the airport or aviation uh, and Sky have to do that as well because they have to get the camera shots from up right. above and that's done right. by a drone. So yeah. eventually that will have to happen, but that will only be for Sky. That yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to risk the drone going up there, you mean it's, it's you can get put you can get put to jail for it for next airports. Uh, not only if somebody spots a drone, it will stop the flights, and it's definitely a no-no. So anything yeah. on my app it tells me a red area, I cannot fly. Yellow yeah. areas are fine because I have a 250 grand drone. Uh, it only applies for drone drones that are heavier. So yeah, I will be making sure when I come to Tenerife, I'll ask him. I'll ask about the rules. And I'm yeah. not going to like get stuck over jail. Otherwise, I'll be asking everybody to bail me out in Tenerife. That will make uh, a good vlog. <laughs> yeah, just check anyway, it. guys, check first. You'd be fine. Yeah, Cole. It's been an absolute pleasure to have yeah. you on tonight's stream. Uh, good I've to catch really up, enjoyed. Yeah, good to catch up. Uh, have this wee bit of banter. Answer some viewers' questions, uh, Vinny. Uh, yes, thank you, sexy handsome. Thank you very much. <laughs> he always gets me. Uh, but listen, it's been a pleasure. Uh, continue what you're doing. Uh, you're a great guy. And you, you too. Make sure, guys, you subscribe to Cole's Place. I'll leave all the details in the description below. Uh, and you can go and if you're watching this on Catch Up, you can go and give him a follow. Uh, you obviously know who he is if you're here. But thank you for each and every single person who's tuned in tonight. I'm sorry about the mix-up at the start there regarding the last link uh, compared to this one. I did delete it by in on. I didn't delete it on purpose. I deleted it by mistake. So thank you very much, Cole. Been a pleasure. Any last words, mate? Uh, if you're watching on Catch Up, subscribe to Michael. Yes, yes, mate. Subscribe, Cole. <laughs> been a pleasure, mate. Have a good night, uh, and, you and we'll speak soon. Yeah, thanks everyone for Take tuning care, in. Take care, buddy. Well. Bye bye. See Take you later. care. Peter.